For Steve Taibbi, playing fetch with his dogs is a struggle. You're my girl. That's Stella. She senses when he's sick. My first three operations were the day I was born. And I always say I live a life of interludes. You know, for this time I'm sick, for this time I'm well. Then I get sick, then I'm well. This is my next two doses for the day. Steve has a failing heart. He was born with an atrial septal defect, a hole in his heart. He's already had one heart transplant, but his body is slowly rejecting it, so he needs a new one. Right now, I'm at the bottom of the list in New York, and that's my status. He waited a year for the first one. This time, he's trying to better his odds by getting on multiple transplant lists. New York has some of the worst wait times in the country, so he's flown to California, where there's more organs to go around. It raises the question, is that fair? People are uh, using their resources to essentially jump the line uh, by uh, getting more than one ticket in the lottery. Dr. Raymond Givens co-authored a new study that found wealthy individuals are more likely to score a transplant by having the resources to get on multiple lists. Despite appearing less sick, um, they, got, they were more likely to receive transplants. Um, and, uh, and we're less likely to die while waiting. There are more than 122,000 Americans waiting for an organ. The average wait time for a kidney is four years. Multiple listing can cut down the likelihood of dying while waiting for a kidney by 10%. But many insurance plans won't cover multiple listings. And medical tests required to get on another state's list can cost in the tens of thousands in addition to travel costs. The problem is that only wealthy people and those who can travel very easily are able to multiply list. Many medical experts say the current policy needs to be changed. The United Organ Sharing Network in charge of the nation's transplant system acknowledges the need for improvement. Rather than addressing multiple listing in terms of banning it or promoting it, it would really be better to address directly the geographic inequities from, from which the whole issue arises. Um, and that is something that UNOS uh, is very, very actively engaged in. Steve Taibbi is blowing through his savings and retirement to desperately get on California's list. To him, asking if the system is fair means asking if he deserves a better chance at getting a heart. If I stay here, odds are I won't survive the list. He plans to do what he can to stay alive. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press. Mm -hmm.